everyone, welcome back to Light Up, where for some reason my last battle did not update the record. I think my opponent might have just disconnected at the very end, like after the game went away. But yeah, we should be at, um, should be at 2-0, and because that's how many games we played, that's how many games we won. Uh, rating reset between last week and this week. And again, if you didn't see yesterday's episode, sorry for no uploads, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, I just, I'm busy moving. It's a pain in the butt. So... Yeah, hopefully we can find another trainer so I can uh, get back to my new apartment and I got a bunch of stuff to do, so this taking a while is always fun. And as I'm getting texted by my significant other, asking what time I think I'll be back, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, posing trainer, not, not found, not found. I am going to turn this down because it's killing me to look at it. And I like you guys, but not that much. Oh, that's that's not bad at all. What was that? What was I doing this whole time? Hurt myself. Oh my god, what is this taking so long for? So we should be two now because we won two games, uh, pretty decisively. I might add. Tailwind ducks is just like this. Double ducks is so good. Oh my god, so stupid good. Listen, if you don't know what to bring to a tournament and you're worried about playing against just random nonsense, like I don't have a good plan for random nonsense, double ducks. Do it. It's it's good. It's very good. It's good for you. It's good for me. This is going to be one of those episodes where we only have one battle because it's taking forever to get to a battle. Yeah! I got to go back in through this all again. So, um, the thing about Double Ducks really is you can flowchart most matchups. Like, pretty much. Think of it this way. It's kind of like Driftblim Lele in the sense that you just bring Pelipper Golduck. You leave that every game. Unless there's a, a good reason not to. In which case, you're probably leading... Pelipper Tapu Koko, unless there's a good reason not to, in which case you're maybe leading like Coco Metagross. Those are really the three good leads of this game, of this team. I would say the three leads of this team are Pelipper Golda, Pelipper Tapu Koko, and then Tapu Koko Metagross, the three bait important leads, with an aside of Tapu Koko Snorlax. There was a, a situation I played, I think, I think it was Joseph Kosiola, also known as Life Orb, on like Trainer Tower, Nugget Bridge, all that stuff, um, and Twitter. And he had a very weird team where it was like both Tailwind and Trick or both Fast and Trick Room, and I just, I had I had to have Fast Slow. And that was the only time I ever led Snorlax to a game, and I think I led it to the second two games. I, I got trampled the first game because I didn't break Snorlax, and then the second two games, I, I, I led it both games because of that. Oh wow, so we got Lulunk. I didn't see the rating or where they're from or anything, but they got a. Oh god. Gastrodon, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a huge problem. Uh, they got a Gastrodon, Arcanine, Celestial, Top of Coco, Garchomp, and Persian. So, it's gonna be one of those games where I have to bring, I think, Tapu Lele. No Trick Room setup. Gastrodon's a pain in the butt. This is gonna be weird. Yes, I know. I don't have a great way to deal with Gastrodon, do I? Metagross is good because of Psychic Terrain. And I think I I want to bring... I want to bring Pelipper. I don't think I need Golduck. I do think I need Pelipper. And I'd bring Snorlax if not for the Persian. Because I really can't set up. And Snorlax isn't that good if I can't set up. But Pelipper, the rain will do, will do good. I can still Hurricane stuff. I can still set up Tailwind. Maybe I want to go Pelipper Coco, though. That's actually probably better. Nah, this will be alright. This will be okay. Yeah, this will be alright. Force my opponent to not be able to fake. If my opponent leads Persian right away, then this is okay, but like Persian Garchomp could be an issue. A bit of an issue. That would be annoying. Because I feel like then I'd have to. I'd have to be a bit cheeky. Persian Tapu Koko. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. My opponent is not going to be able to fake me out. Unless that's Iron Ball Tapu Koko, which I don't think it is. Okay, so... I don't know whose Electric Surge that was. This is a pretty safe... Um, 
I think it's a pretty safe double target into the uh, into the Persian. Maybe I don't want to go after the Coco. Could Volt switch, and maybe that's better. Hmm. Persian might want a parting shot though, and so I think I will. Maybe I'll, no, I'll psychic. No, I'll, I'll moonblast in case it doesn't. I, if I was sure that I was gonna switch, I would I would psychic, but I'm not. That doesn't work. That. Oh. it's gonna be one of these kinds of games. Well, the Persian's going down. That is that the crit? No, that's just yeah. Modest modest life orb dazzling gleam just does that much damage. So this moonblast will probably knock out the top of Coco, I think. If I had to guess. Yeah, so now... What's in the back? <laughs> Garchomp and probably, I don't know, Celesteela? I don't know what you bring. What do you bring to this? A Gastron? Celesteela! Interesting. And Garchomp? Gastrodon! Oh! Very interesting. What do I have in the back again? Things that can kill that? I think I'll Volt Switch that just for safe measure. Gastronaut might protect, but if it doesn't, it's going to take this. Which will do a ton of damage. Because this is Twisted Spoon, Psychic. Cell Stealer protects, okay, but does Gastronaut protect? Gastronaut could be going after um, Top of Coco, which would be bad. And I did consider Dazzling Gleaming there, but... After that first turn, I didn't think my opponent uh, was going to make a good play on account of the fact that they faked out in Psychic Terrain. Oh, it's a pinch berry. I hate these stupid things. So what is this? A sludge bomb? Scald into Coco? Yeah. Okay. So here's the fun thing about this. We're going to kill that Celesteela. In one shot. Easy. Even though we're not in electric terrain. Lele can come back in later. Celeste was probably gonna like heavy slam or something, dude. I don't know. But I'm gonna try and kill this thing right now. This is modest life orb thunder. Not in electric terrain, but it's 100 percent accurate in the rain. And it's strong. So yeah, this should uh hopefully knock out that Celeste. I sure hope it does. No. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm, I'm I'm impressed that it survived. And then toxic. That's These plays make sense. They make sense. Okay, so. This is a pretty safe, um. Dazzling Gleam Hurricane. It's Hurricane, right? Yeah. Pretty safe Dazzling Gleam Hurricane. I'm already faster than their Pokemon, that's not a problem. Celesteela protects, yeah, that's why we Dazzling Gleam, because it doesn't do anything to the Celesteela, and it's obviously gonna protect. I, seeing Toxic makes me think the Gastron doesn't have Protect. So here's some free damage. Enjoy that. This hurricane knocks you out. Have a nice day. Yeah! Double Ducks, man. Don't sleep on it. It's super strong. It's it's good for a reason. Then again, my opponent had made a better turn one play. It's could have been a different game, like a parting shot. But they did not. So, what turns around do we have left? Enough to knock this thing out. My opponent's best play, I think, is to go for a double protect, because Coco's, like, the big issue. And it is... It is, um, leftover Celesteela, but the game is over. It's it's just over, so my opponent should really forfeit. Save us both some time. No, okay. My opponent wants to watch the world burn, apparently. Four against one. Yeah, so... I mean, even, even my Psychic Terrain Boosted Zen Headbutts are going to do so much to Celesteela. And in the rain, it can't touch Metagross. With with like flamethrower, so like what was the point of that? That was stupid. Anyways, I'm in a I'm in a bit of a little grumpy mood just because I got so much stuff to do and I don't like Link 
It's wasting my time. Anyways, on a more cheerful note, how you guys doing? It's been a while since I've seen you, obviously, because I, I, you know, we had a, a, a two-day leave of absence from the channel Monday, Tuesday, and I apologize again for that, but you know what? If you have been a fan of this channel for any length of time, you know that I am very consistent on videos, and I, I let you guys know last week that this might happen, so you really can't fault me, can you? All right, so 1548, yeah, so we got our other win, our, our second opponent, the one, the second one from the last episode, disconnected on us because they were salty. So, see if we can keep winning, keep climbing, having a good time. Who knows? League title defense. I like that one. Let's go with that one. So, we have, I don't know how to say that, from uh, South Korea, rating, I think it was 1578. Ooh, this is interesting. This is a problem. So, this is like the new Big Six. If you remember 2016 last year, and like big six, like everyone's using the same six Pokemon to do the same thing, and it's just like, oh, it's everywhere. This is kind of like the new version of that. Top of Fanny, Porygon 2, Gigalith, Arcanine, Top of Coco, and Cortana. This was everywhere at Virginia, and I had a good plan for it, but I don't remember what it was. I didn't know that this was a thing until I went to the tournament, and then I had to deal with it like in like a, in my round eight match against uh, Alvin. Um, at, at, at Jiba no, no There, or Jiba Not Here. I forget, I don't know how you say his actual Twitter handle. But anyways, uh, I had a plan for this. And it was a good one, I think. Yeah, it was. So, he probably leads Gigalith. If he leads Gigalith, Porygon, this will be an interesting match. Do I bring Golduck? I don't know. Or do I bring Snorlax here? It's a tough matchup. I think I want Snorlax here, yeah. I don't think Golduck is as good. Just because my opponent's probably going to get Trick Room up. If I had to guess. And I could bring... The thing about this is normally against a super hard Trick Room team, I could bring Taunt and Type of Lele if I wanted to. But there's things like Gigalith and Cartana and Arcanine that can... Well, Arcanine not as much with the, uh, with the rain possibility. But two things on the team that can Oko it. So not not good. And my opponent is probably smart and doesn't trick room. And then it says Tapu Koko Porygon 2. Hmm. That's weird. So I feel like this is going to be an instance where we get wrecked because we don't really have a good idea of what our opponent's doing. Okay, so there's no... No electric immunities. My opponent's side of the field. I feel like we're pretty free here to, uh... Just double into it. Double into Porygon. Maybe put it in, uh... Dazzling Gleam, or put it in Bullet Punch range. Who knows? My, my Top of Coco could have Taunt. Who knows? Best of One. That's why Best of One is so much fun. And I hate doing important events Best of One. A PC here and there, eh. I, I usually like, I like if things are best of, uh, best of three. That's a good amount of damage. That's not great. That paralysis is going to be bad. So one play I was considering was if the Tapu Koko does attack, Volt switching into Porygon 2 and Earthquaking. Because that would, that would do a lot of damage to the Koko. But... And there's also the possibility of a Gigalith switch in for the Coco, like a Volt switch, Gigalith switch in. So I was thinking, like, I could Earthquake, but I didn't see the Coco actually protecting there. Which is interesting. So, uh, I'll bring in Snorlax, I think. Yeah. In case my, my opponent wants to go for Trick Room, Snorlax would be great. We get the Meteor Mash off. It's nice damage. Ice Beam. Well, I'm glad I didn't bring in Pelipper. That would have been a waste. This paralysis is a pain. We're going to surprise my opponent here, I think. My opponent's, I think, going to double into Snorlax. So we're going to surprise him. That'd be my guess. If, I, if not, I lose Metagross, and that's not great. But I will get to bring in uh, Top of Coco for free. 
Oh, my opponent doesn't care. That's interesting. I guess you were just fine with me setting up, huh? Alright, well. It's gonna be one of these games, huh? I find that very interesting. Well. Life Orb Thunderbolt. But we're gonna set up Snorlax here. That's what we're gonna do. That type of Coco, I think, is in range of a Dazzling Gleam. I think so. If I had to guess. Into Snorlax? Yeah, now you do it. Now you make the correct play. There's our Barry. And this is going to be a nice Dazzling Gleam. If my if the po <laughs> if the Porygon goes for a Trick Room here, nice crit. There's less to the Coco than I wanted. No, it's just going after Snorlax, huh? Get a curse up here. So I think here, if we knock out the Coco, we're in good shape. My opponent hasn't attacked yet. This is a pretty free protect Dazzling Gleam, I think. My opponent pretty much... I mean... My opponent really should recover here with Porygon too, because if not, I'm in a good position. The other, the other Coco's not protecting, so... We'll see what happens here. Yeah, there's a Dazzling Gleam. But I'm going to knock out that Coco. So that's nice. And then... Get some nice damage on the Porygon, but if it, if it recovers here... I can just Volt Switch it next turn, and that'll be fun. It does recover. The poor guy's not really doing anything. So, Gigalith coming in would be a, a bit of a problem, I think, actually. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have recovered with, a, or, or cursed with Snorlax. Cartana, okay. Who else is on the team? Go by in the back. I'm in a very bad position. High horsepower of the Cartana. Is this the Cartana Protect? I feel like I want to double on the Cartana. I should have uh, probably returned there, but that's okay. Yeah, ah, oh, it does protect. Okay. So that Porygon's going to go after my, my Tapu Coco. That was so obvious. So the other play that, that you do there that I was thinking of is you actually switch out um, Snorlax and you go for a Thunder into the, the Porygon. So that's a bad play. So now we're in a bit of a pickle. That, that, that Porygon's gonna recover. And there's not a whole lot we can do about it. Unless my opponent goes for a Trick Room. Should be interesting. Question here is Does my opponent attack the Snorlax? You know I have Protect. I feel like I'm so far behind. My only play here is to actually. Attack into the Cartana for a Gigalith switching. And go for a Tailwind. Yeah. Cartana's probably going to knock out Snorlax, but I'd, I'm, I'm so far behind. Oh, that's into Snorlax, yeah. So, we, we couldn't have protected to survive against that anyways. That's an all-out pummeling. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Because there's no way we survived that. Yeah, so my opponent had it. Okay, so best of three. Let's talk about that. Best of three. You go against that team. Metagross. Metagross Tapu Koko is a better lead against that. I think. 
Yeah, it gives you a lot more options. Yeah, or even really, you could you could go Lele, uh, you could go Lele Tapu Koko, and if they lead with Kartana, you can just switch it out for Metagross. Maybe that's the better play. I'm curious though. I'm curious how much damage this does to uh, the Porygon. I'm gonna lose this one anyways, but I'm I'm curious. Into Gigalith. Yeah, so they did have the Gigalith. So this, this, this will do an okay amount of damage. It's not in the rain, and it's only like 65 base power, but it'll do an okay amount. We'll see how much it does. Yeah, so my opponent wins, and they know it. But this is good to know. If this does half, then that's awesome. If not, oh well. It does almost half. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. But that's going to be the end of that. And, and as such is the end of this episode of Ladder, everyone. I... I hope you had a good time. I'm sorry we couldn't have won that last one. That would have been super cool. But if you did like it, feel free to hit that like button down below. Uh, comment on what kind of team you want to see next, maybe. Yeah. I'm open to a new team. I'm going to do a new team. I'm saying I'm open to suggestions because I haven't really played anything super hard in stone. I've been testing stuff, but nothing, nothing crazy yet. And, uh, yeah. If you're not already, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I hope to see you back next time for the next episode of Labyrinth.